Hi, we're going to talk real quickly about the movements of the body. Now before we get into how the body moves at each joint, we need to think about the planes and axes. You've probably seen in your textbook or online a picture of a body cut into three different planes. It looks like a sheet of glass three different ways through the body. So one's going to divide that body this way into right and left halves. One's going to divide the body this way into anterior and posterior halves. And then one is right here at the waist, chopping the body into superior and inferior halves. Those are representing the three planes. And that's all wonderful, but what does that really mean when we're relating it to how the body moves? So I want you to think about that first plane, that first sheet of glass that was cutting the body into right and left halves. Any movement that your body does, starting from anatomical position, so you can see my hands are out here, right? So I'm in anatomical position. Any movement my body does that is parallel to that sheet of glass, so flexing my shoulder, flexing my elbow, saying yes, um, flexing forward at my waist, that vertebral column going that way, okay? All of that, my hip flexion, anything going parallel to that sagittal plane is a movement occurring in the sagittal plane. It said that we live in the sagittal plane, meaning you walk, right? We sit down, we stand up. All of that is involving flexion and extension, which are the movements that occur typically in the sagittal plane. Now the frontal plane, that's splitting me into anterior and posterior halves. So if you think about being in like a door frame where the wall would be coming through your body, splitting me into anterior and posterior halves, anything your body does that's parallel to that sheet is going to be a frontal plane movement. So think about your A, B, and A, D duction. A, B is taking whatever it is away from my center, away from my midline, and then A, D, A, D, D, adduction, that's bringing whatever it is back to my midline. We're adding together. That's one way to think about it. We're also going to see lateral flexion. We don't AB or AD duct our spine, right? We laterally flex at those joints. So doing our head side to side, or think about like a side bend in the gym. All of that is lateral flexion. Think about your hip too, that's ABAD, okay? The third one is the transverse plane. That's where it cut the body in the picture that you're probably familiar with into a superior and an inferior half. I like to think about this, um, thinking about a music box. So if you have a ballerina in that music box and she's got a tutu on, and there's that metal rod sticking straight up through her body, and then what does she do? She spins or rotates. So transverse plane movement is rotation essentially. Okay, so think about your shoulder, internal and external rotation, saying no, doing a torso twist. Um, you can move your hip like that too. Um, with our arms up like this, okay, that would also be a transverse plane movement. So now we have a basic understanding of all of those different planes and um, We'll get into the axes in just a little bit when we talk about the movements at each specific joint. Um, but that's a good way to get us started when we're looking at how the body moves.